Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. Um, back with another episode of Freeman Guerrilla Warfare. We're going to load up a game here and see where we left off. I think we took the town and we spawned our way over on the other side of the map, as usual. Took the town of Alipno. So let's head back over there because we didn't leave a garrison. I think I just saved and left we could take this guy next ah there we go <clears throat> it is under our control now which is pretty nice and all right we're gonna have to leave a garrison so we'll have to see i'm gonna leave let me see what kind of troops can i get here Freedom fighters, armed civilians. Freedom fighters are really expensive. I don't think they're as good as, I don't know. I mean, we could try them out and see again, but I think all my freedom fighters died. I think they all died. Um, Let's see. Yeah, we might as well. You know what? Let's hire him. Let's try him out again. And we can still sell too, so let's uh, get some of that money back. Okay. Let me leave that screen is kind of bugging me there. Um, can't invest yet. We could start building the, the infrastructure up a little bit, but let's see. Let's see if we can sell all the stuff first. That's going to be it. Wow. This town is in bad shape. They don't have much money at all. I'm going to buy some food and stuff from them, too. But, um... Wow, uh, these vests are worth eight fifty three. That's beautiful. That puts us pretty dang close. Um... Okay. So, the luxury wine is at a discount. So we could do some trading. I did some trading, I think, the first episode or two just to see if it was viable. And it was. It was definitely viable if you found something, you know, something that was worth quite a bit. Like, this is worth 311 So the discount on that is probably a pretty good chunk. And if you went and sold it somewhere else, you'd probably make a pretty good chunk of change. If you did it in mass quantities. Maybe a 1000 or $2, you know cash there but um really have any food maybe that's why they maybe they need a farm because there is no food here leather what uh do they have that helmet so i did oh they do have the helmet yeah let's buy that that gives us 50 armor to the helmet, and then we can give ours to Anna, and uh, we'll be in uh, pretty good shape, I think. Pretty good shape. I think we'll be maxed out on just about everything. We'll call that a deal, um, and sell all this stuff. And that's about as close as we're gonna get. We're gonna have to keep that vest. Okay. Oh, let's put let's throw a garrison in here. Oh, let's um actually let's look at the party and split the squads up here. So these freedom fighters. Okay, so KK Studio is gonna go in. India is gonna go in. Let's 
Charlie, India, and KK Studio. Because they're all maxed out. Charlie, India, and KK. Okay. Perfect. Okay. That's what we want. And... All right. So let's split the freedom fighters up a little bit here. Um, we're going to supplement them into these other squads. So I'm going to remove these guys. Could probably just disband the squad and it would throw them in there, but... Okay. So Joker, you're going to get... Two of the freedom fighters. You're going to get one. And you're going to get the other two. That worked out perfect. Fill them up. And, all right. I think we're in pretty, pretty good shape there. We'll have to level these guys up a little bit. Let's uh, reward these guys. Get their morale up a little bit. We have 45 troops. And we already have 27 in the garrison. So that's good. So let's go to inventory. Let's equip our new... Doesn't really fit with the gas mask, does it? But that's okay. Let's see what it looks like with the night vision. Night vision just doesn't show. That's fine. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So we're pretty much maxed out gear-wise. I think we're best in class except for the gun. I think there's some better ones, but I do like this one, and the scope seems to work. So, And we haven't used the AKM in a series in a long time, So, and it's relatively cheap and easy for you guys to buy. Uh, highly recommend this gun for the price. I think it's pretty dang good. There are better ones like R3 uh, and the SCAR, but for the price, I think this is a pretty then good rifle all around. Pretty accurate, easy to handle. Um, really good. And it looks cool, you know. Classic AK. Um, and then the there's a combat axe, but we have to go with the uh, machete. So, <laughs> I think that's like a must-have. I think that's cool. Okay, so let's see. I wanted to buy some ammunition too while I'm here. Let's buy all of that. Let's see what kind of guns we have. I'm tempted to buy... I'm tempted to buy the SCAR because I don't know if I've ever tried... I think I tried it out once and it was pretty good too. But I think I like the gun that we have a little bit better. And alright, so now that we're all set up, we'll leave here, we'll go to the party, and I want to give Anna that shiny new helmet gives her a lot more armor there well, that's pretty cool and uh, yeah these guys are my favorite so far the FCA juggernauts they are awesome but yeah you can't take their stuff but other than that okay I think we're good I think we're good alright let's do a warm up match and uh, we're going to save because we did all that. So we have two towns now. One that's almost fully upgraded and one that's kind of needs some stuff. We might go build a farm in there real quick, actually. See if uh, it produces food. But let's get these guys. That is night, so I'm going to throw my night vision in when we uh, fix our scope here. kind of hoping I'd wake up this morning and we'd have a, a fancy new patch but not yet which is fine which is fine so I'm okay waiting a little bit you know just to make sure it's all polished I've still got a little bit more gameplay to play through on this we still have towns to take battles to win and uh like I said, yeah, we still got a little ways, so 
Not too worried about it. Alright, let's go get our night vision. Let's fix this just in case while I'm here. Night vision on. Let's equip two of those. Don't have any health kits. We gotta keep that in mind. Scope is good. Alright, we are set for battle, guys. Let's see. I'm gonna train up those new recruits. I need to um, probably get another squad or two in bandits that we captured. And we might go take another town here pretty soon. Probably the next episode, we're gonna go take that other town. I do have to check to see um, the updated thing now that I took both bandit towns to see if they're gonna spawn or not. So I'm pretty curious about that. Engaging enemy. Right, here we go. I'm a little bit disappointed in Sager. Uh, they've usually been pretty good customer service wise. And they still haven't got back to me about my W key sticking. And what's happening is the laptop kind of heats up in that WASD area. Oh, look at that. And the, the little um, kind of plasticky, rubbery stuff that's in between the key and the sensor, I guess, kind of warms up and makes it stick a little bit. So... I emailed them about that, and uh, usually I'm going to give them a call actually today and see what they recommend on doing, because I don't want to pop off that key. On an expensive laptop, you know. I'll see what they say, what they recommend, or if they're going to just fix it. bullet spread is a lot better, isn't it? I can, like, pop off the bullets pretty quickly. I feel like now. Some of that's just me missing, but I think for, for the most part, um... We're almost maxed out in terms of marksmanship, and uh, I think it's pretty pretty spot on. Some of these longer shots, um, no, but and the spread is a little bit off sometimes, like an inch or two to the left when I'm way down. But it's it's so much better than it was at first. I can kind of manage it a little bit. Oh, these guys are ducking and stuff too, so. Oh, that's not. Is that a dude? That is a dude. There we go. Just have to aim a little bit higher. But I think if you do spend the time to get that marksman ship up, you'll be pretty happy with it. Now it's going to suck when the new patch comes out and we have to start over. Now since it's been pretty long for the update, I would kind of expect to start over, which I'm totally fine with starting a new series at this point. When we only had 12 or 13 episodes in the last series, I was like, ah oh, man, this sucks. I feel like I just started this one, but this one we've had going on for, I don't know, a couple weeks, I guess. I guess that's not very long still, is it? But, uh, like I said, I don't mind, um, there's a headshot. That, that bullet went exactly where I wanted it to go. Let me see. Don't spot me, don't spot me, don't spot me. doesn't 
see me. He doesn't see me. Oh, he's dead. Where's that other one? Oh, he's right here. He's dead. We got one of them. The melee is fun, so it'll be really fun once we get, um, you know, some agility in this, in this character. So, but now it's going to take forever to level up. Um, yeah, it's starting to get 156,200. We're almost approaching, I think in the first series, first or second series, I had like a level 34 or 35 character, something ridiculous. I can't, it was in the 30s for sure. Um, and then the updates were pretty ferocious after that, just coming out left and right and starting over. So we're getting back up to almost, you know, fully decked out, maxed out character. Um, and as far as I know, there's no level cap. So you can just keep on playing. At least there wasn't before playing as much as you'd love to, you know, just like mountain blade, uh, at, eventually the experience gets to be pretty crazy. Like it does in mountain blade, but, um, you know, you can just keep on playing and leveling up, and I'm sure you can max everything out. So, and just have a super character. Which is pretty cool. I think that, I think it should be that way. Reward you with the amount of time that you put in. I hate those games where it's like, you know, you build your character one way or the other, like... I mean, I don't hate them, I guess. I understand. But on games that are single player like this, uh, it just makes sense to be a total badass if you've invested, you know, 20, 30 hours into a playthrough, I think. In early game, you have to kind of build out what you want, which is, that's cool. But by the end, you can kind of accomplish everything with just the amount of time that you put in. But I love this system. I think this is about perfect. Um this new system that they've got on this patch. I think that's the saving grace of this patch is the proficiencies, absolutely perfect. They nailed this. So this is, they could just make small tweaks to this, but keep it generally the same from here on out and worry about other stuff, I think. I think this is pretty dang good. So if they wanna add a couple more things, then by all means, but I think this is pretty dang good. All right. Let's go back. Oh, we're going to have to pay our troops here in a little bit. Um, let's build here. I wanted to build a farm. We'll build a factory. We'll build, um, yeah, government. Housing. Let's see. Market. This is the one that's super expensive, but it does give you a freedom fighter squad in the garrison. I don't know how many, but we'll just build all. We'll max that town out except for that. I'm going to do this once we get enough money to where... I mean, we already have a ton of money, but, you know. Okay. Let's go sell. And I think on the next episode, we're going to take that town. And then we got to decide... Oh, yeah. Let's see. I was gonna check here. If we go to Bandit, see their military power is still at 196, 180. So, we do a truce. They rejected our truce. But it doesn't look like it in this patch, guys. So we took their town, both their towns. They don't own any territory now. And they're still kind of spawning in, so. Looks like they're there in this patch for good. You can't just take them totally off the map like you could before. Because um, one of them, their military power went down to zero. So we'll head over here. Sell some stuff. They don't have much money. I feel like the town's money is going down on a lot of them. Get rid of all that. We need to buy some food. Uh, they're out of space. So maybe we 
to compensate for that, we take these cheap things back and then we sell you some expensive stuff. There we go. Let's get some food. Get the guy some flour. It's on discount. What else? Oh, yeah, yeah. Vegetables. We'll get some vegetables. One more flour. Okay, I think we're good on food. Now we can sell all this other stuff that we're not going to use. Already have a machete. Walkie talkie. And that one. Okay. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. All right, let's get into another fight, I suppose. We'll take a couple med kits with us just in case. They do have that R3, but I think I'm gonna hold off on this series. I think I'm just gonna keep on using our same gun because it seems to be working pretty well and I'm used to it. And then the next series will definitely showcase another gun. Okay. Did our troops level up too? I wonder, they should have leveled up. Party. No. You guys didn't level up yet. Okay. So we'll have to figure out which other. Oh, that's another thing. Prisoners, too. Yeah, let's get some prisoners going. I mean, we have a ridiculous amount. I'm going to grab the armor marauders first. That's two, we need nine total. Ah, you refused. That's uh, four. Five. Seven. Eight. Nine. Right? That gets us a whole nother party. I don't even know where we left off. He tried J, K, L. I think it's for at L. Lima? All right, let's fill these guys up. We'll reward them a couple times. The morale up. Probably won't use them in battle, but. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape. We could probably take this town of 20 over. I wonder, real quick, is that the only town that they have? They've got another one. Chernivka and Berezno. That's Chernivka. Where the heck is Berezno? Is it over here? Let's do a little searching here. Battle there. Farm. I want to find a farm that's not owned by... There's a nice little bridge over here. So I've been over on this other other side of the map, but no towns that are enterable. 
It looks like it would be a town there. <clears throat> There's a town that would be there, it looks like, as well. And you and the map is pretty big. But you're just not gonna see any um I'm just gonna get this over with, pay their wages. That's fine. We got plenty of money. And yeah, you just don't see anything on this side of the map. So they just didn't finish it up or it's bugged out. I don't know. Well, let's head back. A lot of bandits over here, though. Lots and lots of bandits. There's an escort mission that does not work. We own two towns and maybe three. Where's Berezno? Is this it over here? Oh, this is it over here. How much troops are, are there? Only 21. Huh. Well, we could take two more towns in the next couple episodes, um, you know, barring an update. But I think that could be a possibility. So let's see if we can level these guys up because we're going to need to throw in a garrison at least. Um, let's do just a quick battle and I think we'll call this episode. And then that's what we'll work on on the next couple episodes are taking those two towns. But I think we're in good position here. I still have a bunch of guys that I can uh, squad up. So we'll just uh, get into another battle. We gotta collect our money from the, our two towns that we own right now. But we're gonna finish this one up pretty quickly. Those guys should be pretty healed up, the ones that we just recruited. And uh, deploy. Okay. Perfect. All right, let's roll out here. Get a quick win. And then, uh, yeah, we're almost at the 30 minute mark. And then the next two episodes, like I said, barring any updates that cause us to start over from scratch, which I think. I have the feeling like something's going to come out maybe this weekend. I don't know. And as soon as it does, uh, I've got today, tomorrow, and Sunday off of work. So I will bring that to you. And we will, if, if we have to start over from scratch, I'm totally fine. We'll have a you know nice long premiere of season five. And uh, it'll be probably almost an hour long episode. And we'll check it out together. So it'll be pretty fun, I think. And if not, well, we got a plan that we could take over at least two more towns uh, from the Brotherhood. That'll give us four. And then we can, if still nothing comes out, then we can um, start taking the other towns from like the FCA and the uh, Pazna. So. But we got plenty of gameplay left. Now we can't do the scenario of taking over 10 towns because I don't think there's 10 towns to take over on this build, but we could probably conquer what we can on the whole map. So I'd say that's another 10 episodes worth maybe because those, o those other guys are going to be a lot tougher than the Brotherhood and... Um, <coughs> Oh, sorry guys, I didn't get to uh, mute that. The Brotherhood and the Bandits are going to be the easiest targets to go after at first. Ooh. And... Then we'll go against some harder opposition. I wonder how much if you kill an FCA juggernaut, that must give you like 
4,000 experience. If an armed marauder gives you almost a thousand. This the dude? No. See those bullets? I'm not getting headshots, but there we go. There's a headshot. But you can see the bullets within this range are um, very accurate. And usually, as soon as I say that, then they're not. There we go. There's a Marauder. Fling. There we go. We caught him. I am super excited because I feel like, like I said, I got that feeling like we're on the verge of something coming. Something's coming. I could be wrong and we could be waiting another two weeks. And in that case, we're going to control the whole entire map. And have a level 35 super character that can do it all. Which would be pretty cool, actually. Usually the updates come out so quick that, um, that I could never beat the map. Three left. One. Oh, we leveled up too. Beautiful. Perfect. All right, let's imprison all. And all right, let's level up, and then we'll call it. Um, I would like to get leadership up. Hold on, I gotta sneeze again. Okay, never mind. I'm good. False alarm. Um, let's do. I mean, let's get our leadership maxed out. Let's finish that up, and then we'll work on constitution and agility next. But I'm not too worried about the inventory. We got three out of five on the inventory. Um, let's go instructor for that last one, get that maxed out, then I guess we'll go looting, and then we'll have to put, unless we get our constitution up, we're gonna have to put points into explosive. And we could test that out, grenade damage and stuff like that so all right let's get our sniper rifle up i'm gonna put the points into that because we're gonna uh, naturally get our assault rifle up and i think we are good let's put the med kit in there all right guys i'm gonna save that and we'll see you either way whether it's a new series or uh the continuation of taking over the whole map on this um but uh either way i'm super excited and i do kind of feel like we're on the verge of something coming out but uh yeah you guys have a good one take care and we'll see you next time and always uh as always if you like this video hit that like button and subscribe for more all right take care